For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the sum of arithmetic sequence. So when we say sum of arithmetic sequence, the sum S sub n, if the n term of arithmetic series is S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of A sub 1 plus A sub n, or S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of 2 times A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So these are the different formulas that we're going to use in order for us to find the sum of arithmetic sequence, where a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the nth term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we are going to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Letter A, our given is A sub 1 which is 5 and A sub 10 is 68. So in this kind of given, we are going to use the formula S sub n equals n over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub n. So the value of n is 10 because we are looking for the sum of the first 10 terms. So that is 10 over 2 times a sub 1, which is 5, plus 68. Okay? And then 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 5 plus 68 is 73. Then 5 times 73, so that is 360. So the sum of the first 10 terms is 365. What about letter B? On letter B, we have A sub 1, that is 5, and the common difference is negative 7. So this time, we are going to use the second formula, which is S sub n equals n over 2 times 2A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d because we don't have a value of a sub n. That's why we use the second formula. So our value of n, which is 10 over 2 times 2, a sub 1 is 5, plus n, which is 10, minus 1 times negative 7. Then let us simplify. 10 over 2 or 10 divided by 2 is 5. Multiply by 2 times 5 is 10 plus 9 times negative 7. Then 5 times 10 plus 9 times negative 7. That is negative 63. Then let us rewrite 5. So we have 10 plus negative 63, that is negative 53. Negative 53 times 5, that is negative 265. So the sum of the first 10th term for now letter B is negative 265. What about for letter C? As you can see, the given is 3, 5, 7, and 11. So we are looking for the sum of the first 10 terms. So we have a sub 1, that is 3. Common difference, that is 5 minus 3 is 2. And then n is 10. So since we don't have the value of a sub n, let us use this formula. s sub n equals n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have n, which is 10, over 2, times 2, times a sub 1, which is 3, plus 10 minus 1, the common difference is 2. Then 10 divided by 2 is 5, times 2 times 3 is 6, plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2, that is 18. And then let us simplify. 
we have 5 times 6 plus 18, that is 24. Then, 24 times 5, that is 120. So, the sum of the first 10 terms is 120. What about letter D? On letter D, A sub 1 is negative 6, or 6 rather. Common difference, that is 3 minus 6. To find the common difference, simply subtract the second term to the first term. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And then N is 10. So let us use the same formula. S sub N equals N over 2 times 2A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So the value of N is 10 over 2. Then 2 a sub 1, which is 6, plus 10 minus 1. The common difference is negative 3. And then, we have 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus, 10 minus 1 is 9. Times negative 3 is negative 27. Then, we have 5. Multiply by 12 plus negative 27. We are adding different sign. Whenever you add different sign, you subtract and follow the sign of the bigger number. So we have negative 15. 5 times negative 15 is negative 75. So the sum of the first 10 terms for letter D is negative 75. So let's have another example. On this example, we are going to find the first term, last term, and the sum of each finite arithmetic series. For example, number 1, the summation of 6n when n starts from 1 up to 31. So let us find first that the first term and the last term. So the first term, that is 6n. So since the value of n starts from 1, the value of n will be 1. So 6 times 1. So the first term is 6 times 1 is 6. So this will be our first term. And then a sub n, that is 6n, since the summation is up to 31. So 6 times 31. So 6 multiplied by 31 is 186. So this will be the value of n. Now, let us find the value of n. So the value of n starts from 1 to 31. So n is 31. There are 31 terms. So since we have a sub 1 and a sub n, we are using the formula s sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. So we have the value of n which is 31 over 2 times a sub 1, which is 6, plus a sub n, that is 186. Then we have 31 over 2. Then let's add 6 plus 186, that is 192. And then, let us divide 192 by 2. We have 31 times... 96. 192 divided by 2 is 96. And then let us multiply. 31 times 96, that is 6792. So the sum is 2976. What about for number 2? Summation of 3n minus 1 when n starts from 3 up to 20. So we have here a sub 1, that is 3n minus 1. Since the value of n starts from 3, so the value of n is 3. 3 times 3 minus 1. So 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1. So a sub 1 is 8. 
And then, a sub n. a sub n is 3n minus 1. Since the value of n is up to 20, so the value of n is 20. 3 times 20 minus 1. So 3 times 20 is 60 minus 1 equals 60 minus 1 is 59. That is the last term. Now, what about the value of n? How many terms do we have? Since the value of n starts from 3 up to 20, we're going to have 18 terms. Because 20 minus 3, 17 plus 1 is 18. Because started from 3 up to 20. Now, let us use the formula S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Then n is 18 over 2 times a sub 1, that is 8, plus a sub n, that is 59. 18 divided by 2 is 9 times 8 plus 59, that is 67. And then let's multiply 9 times 67, that is 603. So the sum is 603. What about number 3? Summation of 3n plus 4 when n starts from 2 up to 16. So let us determine the value of a sub 1 first. a sub 1, the formula is 3n plus 4. So since the value of n is 2, we have 3 times 2 plus 4. 3 times 2, that is 6 plus 4. So a sub 1 is 10. And then, a sub n is 3n plus 4. Since the value of n is up to 16, so 3 times 16 plus 4. 3 times 16 is 48 plus 4. 48 plus 4, that is 52. So this will be the value of a sub n. Now, what about the value of n? Since the value of n starts from 2 up to 16, how many terms do we have? So there are 15 terms. If you find any difficulty in finding the number of n, you simply subtract 16 minus 2. That is 14 plus 1. That is 15. So the number of terms is 15. Now, let us find the value or let us find the sum. Of this uh, summation. Number 1, we have S sub n equals n over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub n. So n is 15 over 2. A sub 1 is 10 plus A sub n is 52. And then let's simplify. We have 15 over 2 times 10 plus 52 is 62. Let's divide 62 by 2. That is 15 times 62 divided by 2 is 31. Now, let us multiply 31 by 15. So 15 times 31 is... 465. So the sum is 465. What about number 4? Summation of n minus 5 where n starts from 2 up to 24. So let's find a sub 1. So a sub 1 is n minus 5. So the value of n starts from 2. That is 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is negative. 3, that is a sub 1. And then, a sub n, the formula is n minus 5. Since n is up to 24, so 24 
minus 5, that is 19. So this will be a sub n. What about for the value of n? So since we started from 2 up to 24, 24 minus 2 is 22, plus 1, that is 23. So there are 23 terms in number 4. So let us use the formula s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So we have 23 over 2 times a sub 1 that is negative 3 plus 19. So we have 23 over 2 negative 3 plus 19 that is 16. Let's divide 16 by 2 that is 8 times 23. Now, let us multiply 23 times 8. 23 times 8, that is 184. So, the sum is 184.